A lot. Uh, I think that's uh, one of the biggest parts of our game. I mean, honestly, just sitting over the weekend watching college football, I mean, some of those atmospheres are, like, ridiculous. I mean, me come, going to middle, I didn't have an opportunity to play in a lot of those stadiums and those atmospheres. Uh, but it's you really can't really, like, replicate that type of – the, the energy, the noise, the crowd noise. Uh, so I'm like I said, gonna be super excited. I'm expecting an electric uh, stadium or atmosphere out there in Nissan. You guys obviously have a lot of talent, a lot of exciting things going, but there are plenty of teams that are talented and don't win very many football games. What's it gonna take for you guys to not just be good on paper? And what is it about this team and the makeup that gives you confidence? I mean, it's understanding that you know the game is not played on paper. The game is played on the field. Uh, we had to make sure just all 11. That's what we've been doing all throughout training camp and preseason. It's building the team, uh, building some continuity. Uh, we preach on defense communication. Uh, and like I just told her, man, Sunday is not the day to start making stuff up. You know, we're going to go out there and play our defense, play our brand of football, which is like Verbal talks about all the time, effort and finish, fundamentals and details. Uh, that's what's going to win us the ball game, especially in week one because, you know, Arizona can go out there. We can watch all the film we want. They can go out there and pretty much show us something totally different that we never seen. So the fundamentals and the details and the small things is what's going to help us win this ball game. Right. Correct. Yeah, it's a little bit different because, like you said, I mean, you can watch a lot of last year's film. Obviously, like Larry Fitzgerald's not there. AJ, you put AJ Green in there. Uh, they have a really talented rookie, Rond Rondell Moore. So they're going to be some shifting as far as you know. Larry was here last year. Rondell Moore might be here. Christian Kirk might be another place because AJ Green's probably going to be on the outside. Uh, but also going on your experience of playing guys. Like I played D Hop a few times. Uh, we know he's going to get the majority line share of the targets. You know, small stuff like that. But at the same time, you know, knowing what we're going to be putting in the defense, really locking in on our keys and stuff that we talked about in the meeting rooms, and just going there playing with fundamentals and details. Because I don't think that. You know, a lot of game plan is going to be done. Arizona can go out there in their first 15 plays and show something that we've never seen. So as long as we're communicating, being on the same page, you know, after that, you know, we just run to the football and swarm. You know, Robert's known as a little bit of a gambler. He said he really just keys in on one thing. Like he's got a formation. Who you said? Rabbit. Okay, okay. He said he, he's got one formation or one thing that he keys in, and that's where he takes his chances. Right. Do you approach things like that, or how do, how do you choose when to take one shot? Uh, you know, I do feel like uh, it's a benefit to that because, you know, especially, for example, we've had a whole bye week, uh, pretty much a bye week. And this week, you do a lot of game plan, do a lot of meetings, and you try to key in on so much different stuff, and it kind of clouds your mind, whereas though you get in the game, you kind of want to be able to cue in, okay, if I see this formation, I see this play, I can take my chance. A lot of times, you know, for me personally, especially going to week one, I just kind of trust my instincts. But like I said, I play my fundamentals. If it's I got this man, I'm keen on this man. If I'm supposed to be reading two to one or whatever I'm doing, I try to go out there and just do the simple stuff because, you know, I've, I've made a lot of turnovers in my career, but I do realize that, you know, gambling more often than not, you know, just like you go to the casino, you're not going to win more than you lose, you know what I'm saying? So I just try to do the small stuff right, and eventually the ball will find you, and you go out there and just make your plays when it comes to you. You and several others on the uh, – You got <laughs> Experiment a little bit during training camp. I know where it Mike said, you know, I don't want to hear too much chatter from you. And that. Correct. Did you continue that? And, and, you know, did that prove successful? Did you have other guys start to step up to a little, little more communication? Yeah, I mean, I've been impressed with uh, Elijah Molden just being a rookie, just coming out there, learning the defense a lot. Uh, he's been doing a good job communicating himself. You can tell he's not a guy that you really have to be on a lot as far as just talking and stuff like that. He's been really good for the room. Uh, but just as of right now, uh, the experiment is over, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here trying to make sure that we're all on the same page. Maybe we get to another point where – because, I mean, at the end of the day, I even talked about it with Jim Swartz uh, just in the locker room. Just, you know, it was different than, like, maybe previous years where, you know, sometimes young guys might not know, if, especially if they was on a practice squad, that they might not be playing this week. But now with the new rules, a guy from the practice squad could be elevated on a Saturday night. So just making sure that us as leaders on the defense that – you know, if it's a uh, Jeff or Bud or whatever, making sure that the young guys are being just as keyed in as a starter and treating everybody as a starter because I mean, you, you never know if, you, if you're going to be able to play. So everybody's making sure we're on the same page, communicating and, and knowing all the keys. Just like if I would know the keys, I'll expect the young guy to know exactly the way I know him. You and a few others have talked about the need to be more aggressive this year. Why is that? Was that something you thought 
lacking last year? Why is that the emphasis? Yeah, I mean, we definitely felt like it was lacking last year. Um, kind of just second guessing ourselves a lot of times during certain plays, even myself. Um, we want to be aggressive because we want to be able to play with just an attacking mentality. Uh, you know, if we make a mistake, our effort and finish is going to cover up from guys flying to the ball. Um, at the end of the day, we all understand that this game is not being played. It's not going to be perfect. Uh, guys going to make some mistakes, but if we're going to make some mistakes, we're going to make them full speed. So that's just the attack and aggressive mentality that we've been talking about.